less than a year after reaching the playoffs with an 11-5 record and only one week after benching franchise quarterback Eli Manning. Giants head coach Ben McAdoo was fired on Monday along with general manager Jerry Reese amidst a disastrous 2-10 campaign. McAdoo and Reese will be replaced on an interim basis by defensive coordinator Steve Spagnuolo and assistant general manager Kevin Abrams, respectively. The Giants have been considered a Super Bowl contender before the season, but struggled with injuries throughout the year, and will now miss the playoffs for the fifth time in six seasons. I was very confident about this roster dot heading into this season, Giants co-owner John Mara said Monday, later adding, we've had an embarrassing season. Apostrophe, our team isn't good enough, Mara went on to say, dot we're 2 10. This marks the first time since 1976 that the Giants have ever fired a coach in the middle of the season, but it's certainly not a surprise given the team's record and the public scorn after Manning's streak of 210 consecutive starts was ended in Sunday's loss to the Oakland Raiders. Oddly enough, Manning will have a chance to start another streak as ESPN is reporting he will start Sunday against the Dallas Cowboys. The Giants lost their first five games of 2017, including three defeats in which the team blew fourth quarter leads. With the losses, word started to emerge that McAdoo was losing the team. HIS won game suspensions of popular cornerbacks Dominique Rogers Cromarty and Janoris Jenkins heightened the problem. According to several reports, some players also griped anonymously about having workouts on Saturdays, something the team also did last season. Mario and co-owner Steve Tisch had come to McAdoo's defense after an embarrassing loss to the then win the San Francisco 49ers on November 12, saying his job was safe until the end of the season. His handling of the Manning benching seemed to seal his fate, but on Monday, Mario insisted McAdoo was not fired simply for replacing a franchise icon. really had no effect whatsoever, Mara said. 210 is 210, and obviously the public reaction to that was not pleasant, but that really didn't have any effect on our decision. Apostrophe at the time of Manning's benching last week, the former top pick was given the option of starting the Giants' remaining games and extending his streak the most among active quarterbacks, but last Tuesday, a tearful Manning said it would be too difficult to start a game in which he knew he'd be removed. Also, he explained, such a scenario tarnishes the streak. McAdoo said he chose to bench Manning in order to evaluate backups Geno Smith and Davis Webb. Fan reaction to Manning's benching was immediate, with many calling for recent McAdoo to be fired, something that happened less than a week later. The Giants were already been eliminated from playoff contention, and currently have 19 players on injured reserve. And it wasn't just fans. Manning's former teammates, such as Brandon Jacobs and Plaxico Burris, tweeted out their support.
an absolutely speechless, tweeted former Giants left tackle David Beal, who won two Super Bowls with Matt. I've watched every game, and have sat through this rough at Giants season and this, what you do to a man who has lead this team for 210 straight games. Apostrophe as Mara explained, the decision to fire McAdoo and Reese could not wait any longer, because of the immensely disappointing 2017 campaign. Steve and I spoke after yesterday's game in Oakland, and agreed to talk again today, Mara said. This morning, we decided in the best interest of the franchise, that we would relieve Jerry and Ben of their duties, effective immediately. This season has been incredibly disappointing for the organization and our fans, and while it would be ideal to make these kinds of decisions at the conclusion of the season, we simply felt now is the time to prepare for a fresh start. I have great respect for both Jerry and Ben, Mara continued. Jerry has worked tirelessly for this franchise for 23 years. He has always communicated in a straightforward and honest manner. Ben, as a first-time head coach, continued up until this morning to do everything in his power to give us a chance to win. I know the public perception of both these men is not positive, but within these walls, you could not ask for two better professionals. Apostrophe McAdoo posted a 13-16 record since being promoted to head coach from offensive coordinator in 2016. After serving as offensive coordinator for the Giants in 2014, McAdoo replaced longtime Giants coach Tom Coughlin in 2016. Although he's credited with two of the Giants' four Super Bowl titles, Reese's tenure with the team was marred by his decision to re-sign kicker Josh Brown in 2015, even though the team was aware that Brown had admitted to physically abusing his now former wife.
the former Ole Miss star has guided the Giants to two Super Bowl victories and is the franchise's all-time leader in passing yards, 50,625 touchdown passes, 334, and the interceptions, 222. Despite the 2-9 record, Manning played relatively well for the Giants in 2017, but he completed 62. Five percent of his passes for 2,411 yards, 14 touchdowns and seven interceptions. He also posted a respectable quarterback rating of 84. One. Besides a host of injuries along the offensive line, Manning also lost top wide receivers Adele Beckham Jr. and Brandon Marshall for the season, which limited his options significantly. Smith completed 21 of 34 passes for 212 yards and a touchdown in place of Manning on Sunday. On Monday, apparently feeling the criticism from fans, Smith wrote on Twitter, Hate is so familiar to me, I'm slowly embracing it, doesn't come natural bear with me, it could take a bit, 